DoggyDiamondsTV.com. All right, you being a Bronx nigga, I'm going to put you on the spot. Bronx looking crazy right now. Africa Bambada situation. He's accused of molesting like six niggas. Uh, shit looking crazy, man. Um, I, uh, I don't even know what to say. What's your thoughts about the whole situation? You being a Bronx dude. Don't be biased either, man. What, what you think? Ah, oh, doggy diamonds. Woo! This is definitely gonna have to be a separate one. Ah, oh, man, Africa being by the dog. This is what I I think. I'm not gonna say he's guilty of it. I'm not gonna say he's not guilty of it. But this story coming out gave me a, a, a epiphany. It, it, it was like the, the final puzzle that I was searching for in this industry, right? This is what I'm saying. This. Now, y'all pay close attention. A lot of y'all going to say I'm crazy. A lot of y'all going to say I'm hating because niggas is rich and all that. But if any of y'all are 40 years old or older, you know, I'll be 45 this year, you know, then y'all going to understand where I'm coming from. Because I encountered a lot of blocks in this industry. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them was due to me not being gay. I don't have anything to do with, you know, anybody's sexuality or anything like that, right? But this is what I come to, to realize now with this industry shit, with the, the Bambada situation. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is what, how I look at it. Let's just say... It's true, allegedly. Allegedly, I'm going to say. Let's say it's true. This is where I came to realize now. If this is true, right, and and Bambada was the godfather of hip-hop, he was the start of it, right? And if this was true and he became successful, then he may, be, may have become one of the gatekeepers and dudes being successful in the industry, meaning that you're going to have to take involvement in what they do. Now, if they was molesting little boys or having sex with men and gay shit was going on, then this is what I'm going to say I feel was uh, I, I come to realize what happened in the industry. Now, you always hear these dudes talk about the Illuminati, right? You know, to me, the Illuminati is a secret side, is a blanket name for secrets and secret societies, right? But a lot of us in the industry, a lot of us, we hit this brick wall where we get executives that try to sleep with us for us to move forward in the industry, right? Now, I look at this Bambada situation, right? And, and I say, um, all right, let's just say if this is true, allegedly, right? Let's say, um, so if Bam was the, uh, the, the, if, 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 if Bam was the first person to to be doing this and these dudes is coming out now at 50 years old and, so, and saying that they was molested or whatever, then there was a lot of people around that knew what the fuck was going on, right? So Bam Bada went from doing what he did, right, in hip-hop and becoming successful, and then Bam Bada goes and starts hanging with, with Russell Simmons and Andre Harrell and them, and the Roxy and everything. Now, it is rumored, it's alleged that people say stuff about Andre Harrell, Russell Simmons, whatever, being funny. I'm not saying they are. I got much respect for both of them. You know what I'm saying? If they are, that's their fucking business. You know what I'm saying? But, they, you know, it's also rumored that, you know, if you went through Def Jam, you know, then... You had to go through these gatekeepers. There's rumored to be that a lot of Def Jam artists were, I won't say they was gay, but they did uh, homosexual activities to advance in their career. You know, so then you got uh, Andre Harrell up in Uptown. You know what I'm saying? Rumored the same thing. You know, then, you know, you got, you know, the dudes that come up the next generation, you know, the, the Puffies, the Jay-Zs, 
and you know all these artists that come up and they got to see these gatekeepers right then they advance right and then you got your your Quincy Joneses your Clyde Davises and 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 other dudes I'm not saying that these men are homosexuals there's rumored and allegedly they are I don't know this for a fact you know but they are names that I heard as as people as gatekeepers. You're not gonna get past these people unless you do these type of things. I'm not saying it's true, right? But I know for a fact myself that I've encountered an executive in my field and they came on to me and they came on to me through other people and I know for a fact as if I would have succumbed to the homosexual lifestyle that I would have became an executive and I would have went further than where I was at in my career. I know this for a fact, you know. So now when this Bambada thing comes out and I look at it, I'm thinking, all right, well, did he start with the gatekeeper being the the the, the success, first successful dude in hip hop and everybody that f that flooded the floodgates had to go through him and then have to go to Def Jam, then have to go to Uptown, uh, and then have to go through Universal, and then have to go through Arista, you know what I'm saying? Because look, Clive Davis came out just a few years ago and admitted that he was bisexual, right? But he didn't say that years, years back then. So now we got all these guys that Everybody behind closed doors, they say that they, they gay or they homosexual or they bisexual. But if you say it out loud, you're getting killed. You know, so now y'all know if something happened to me after this interview, if something happened to Doggy Diamonds after this interview, y'all know that everything that the motherfuckers is saying out there is true. Because it took me a lot for me to just say what the fuck I just said. So if I get killed, mysteriously, I'm not on no drugs. I didn't, there's nothing wrong with me. My health is fine. If anything happens to Doggy Diamonds, nothing's wrong with his health. He's not on any drugs. Then y'all know this is true. You know what I'm saying? Once again, we are not, I am not, my words are not the words of Doggy Diamonds TV. My words are my words. And I am not saying that anybody is gay because I have not been in, in, in a room with any of these dudes. I'm just saying what is rumored in the industry. I'm just saying what I went through. You know what I'm saying? I know what other women went through, you know, that go through it now. Because now it, we're in the industry now where these girls or all these reality shows, they now got to sleep with all these executives. There's no straight men on none of these reality shows. If you go to, if you look at the Love and Hip Hop or Real Housewives of Atlanta or any of these shows, if you look at the production team, there's no straight men on any of these shows. It's either gay men or gay women or women that's fronting like they straight, but they, they, they mess with women or they marry and they still mess with women. Yeah, so basically, you know, I'm just going to end it like, you know, seeing this Bambada shit just really put the last piece of the puzzle for me as far as this industry and, and this gatekeeper things. It, it, that's if it's true. And the reason I'm believing that, you know, it may be some truth to this, because where is Zulu Nation? They supposed to be a million, 500,000 deep, and nobody's coming up speaking for Bambada? On his behalf, nobody, nobody, dogs, nobody is coming. It's a, it's a lot of Zulu Nation dudes out here, dude. Nobody's stepping up. So, like I said, man, it, it just it just make me think that, man, that if 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 this come out with as if it was true with Ben Bob, it's gonna be a hell of a domino effect because. It's a, a lot of undercover gay shit that go on in this industry. And no white, you know, if you talk about it, it's like you gay bashing. But we not gay bashing. It's just, it's, it just got to a point where it's just some heterosexual discrimination going on. And if you ain't gay 
or you don't want to play in the gay, you know, in the gay pond, you not going to advance. And I didn't understand it, but now it all makes sense that everything's so flagrantly out there like that because all these dudes been living behind this wall for all this time, and now they finally getting they, they time where they could be themselves, and some of them are still hiding, but we all know the truth now. You know what I'm saying? Especially those in our 40s and 50s, we know what y'all doing. We know what y'all did, man. Yo, it's so many of y'all rappers that, that, and I'm not mad at y'all. Y'all wanted success. Y'all wanted fame. You know, y'all wanted, y'all wanted, y'all wanted, y'all need to feed your family. Some of y'all may, may had a little, uh, uh, curiosity as far as the gay lifestyle. And some of y'all just said, fuck it. Y'all was homeless. You know what I'm saying? And just did what y'all had to do. But y'all get, y'all can't keep stopping those that don't want to do that from advancing. I don't think this shit is fair no more. And it ain't, it ain't just rappers. It's actors. It's y'all actors out there. It's y'all executives at the networks. It's y'all, y'all, y'all in Hollywood. You know, it's all y'all with the power. It's niggas like Flex. Flex, we know what y'all doing. I know what you did to get where you at, Flex. You can't get mad at me because I didn't succumb to that shit, my nigga. But don't stop me from getting no money. You know what I'm saying? Don't start Mr. Excitement. He, he's been a great host. You never brought him up to the radio to be a host. Angie Martinez told you he was a host, a dope host way back then. Melo knew how to DJ before you. I done been doing TV shows for 20 years. You ain't never asked us to come do a TV show. But we the niggas that did over 200 episodes of Street Funk TV and had you on TV when niggas nobody seen you. Yo, dog, I don't, I'm sorry you had to do what you had to do to advance in the industry. But I'm not here to get my asshole blown out. I'm not here to take it in the mouth. I'm trying to be a man. Let me be a man and be successful. It's hard enough I got out the projects, my nigga. Let us live, dogs. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't leave without subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.